Ready for the second half? Yeah, I'm ready to get out of town. Man. Me too. So James and I took a little break. Today is Thursday. We've been home since Saturday afternoon. Yeah, so four days. And now it's time to get back on the road. We've spent the last month and change. We fished through 20 states, caught a bunch of good fish, caught a bunch of different fish too. It's been fun, but I'm definitely ready to uh, get back on the road. Hung out with the girlfriend, hung out with the dog, ate some good food. James, what did you do on break? Did not hang out with a girlfriend or, or much with the dog. Or my nephew, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> good break, bad break. It could have been better, if I'm going to be honest, but I'm happy to get back on the road. West Virginia? Yep, let's do it. Let's go. Three bucks. That's actually pretty nice to come back to on tour. A three dollar one day fishing license. Mm -hmm. Also, James just got a new phone there. Look at that. So if you guys aren't already following him on Instagram at James from Virginia, click the link down in the description below. Go give my boy a follow if you want to keep up with our tour a little bit. So we just landed in West Virginia in Morgantown. We're gonna be fishing the Mon River. And really, we're here just kind of killing time because we're going to be meeting up with Nolan Miner. I've fished with him a few times a couple years ago, and I've since the first time I fished with him, called him the Fish Whisperer. The kid's ridiculous, but he's got a test to take today because... Nerd. Some scheduling issues, but he fishes for West Virginia, and he's going to be down at Bull Shoals in like a week, so he had to take the test early or something like that. I don't know, but we're going to go do some trout fishing later, and we're catching a pretty sweet species of trout so looking forward to that something a little different for you guys too but we're gonna get out on the mon see if we can catch some smallies largies maybe some drum and there's some musky in here too so you never know yep so three dollar fishing license but you also must purchase the prerequisite product non-resident conservation 13 bucks so 16 bucks for one day we've seen worse and then you gotta do the trout license. And the trout license too, yeah. We've got licenses now. We are good to go here at the Mon. Gonna get the boat all set up. You know, most people, after traveling for a full month, when they got home, would probably relax. I fished three days out of four and took one day off to hang out with the girlfriend. But that's it. You know, I should have cleaned the van, cleaned the boat, gotten everything done, but I just, I'm addicted to fishing. All right, folks, we're here out in Morgantown, West Virginia. Today's weather report from James is 60 degrees right now. I think it's supposed to get a little hotter today, maybe up to, let's see, let's just, let's go in. I know that they're calling for 10 mile per hour winds, so the high is uh, 82 today. We got some gusts going right now, as you can see by those flags in the background. We're gonna get out here. If it's this windy, you know what kind of day it's gonna be. It's gonna be a spinner bait day. So we're gonna get out here, get on Morgantown, and catch some fishies. And what do you say? I'm ready. All right. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to get back on this trip, start kicking it off, and knock out the last, I guess, 28 states, 27 states, if we count Virginia. We'll see you guys out there. We have made it out on the river. So. Before we start fishing, I do need to give a huge shout out and thank you to Mercury for hooking us up with not only the motor, but a bunch of merch, which we just got right before this second half of the trip. If you guys wanna go click the link down in the description below to their dock store, there will be a discount for you. I don't know the name of the discount code yet. I'll probably write it here in text. So make sure you go check that out. You can get some awesome shirts, sun shirts, hats, pretty much everything. They have a lot of cool stuff on there. Visors. Visors, check that bad boy out. James is looking like a professional now. Uh, young JT. Definitely good, but again, huge thanks to Mercury. We couldn't be here. We wouldn't be out on all these crazy waters without you. And as bougie as it may sound, there is nothing better than sitting down and just clicking that start button and getting on the water. It does sound bougie, I know, because I'm fully able to use the pull start, but... And use the ripcord. Man, is it nice. Let's find us a West Virginia basket. 
Here we go. Okay, yeah, batteries are charged. <laughs> we got some dirty water out here. 57 degrees. And look at that clean water line coming from that creek mouth. That is what we want. I'm gonna start the, oh, something just jumped right there. Starting the day with a spinner bait, chartreuse and white. This is kind of cool because, do you see the clear water coming out of that creek? It's pretty significant. That should definitely draw some fish in. God, look how clean it is and how dirty it is. All right, let's roll up to one of the other spots he was telling us about. Spot number one, no bueno. Luckily, Nolan hooked us up with a couple different spots. Captain James up front. We're up here in Morgantown. Fishing under the bridge, because it's kind of raining. All right, just put a little jig on. All black bitsy bug. And a June bug crack and crawl. On the rocks. Be there. Got him. Yeah. First fish, West Virginia, Mon River. Hey! Damn! That was weak. On the jig. Here, let's do it again. Do it again. Give me the bump. Fish bump. Fish bump. Bingo. Little pounder. Right up on the rocks. Kind of called it. I mean, it just looks good. Everything looks good. See ya. All right, West Virginia, we caught a fish. Bye. I wonder if there's any more up there. On the all black Bitsy Bug, this is 3 8 ounce. And then a Guggenbaits crack and crawl on the back. And if you guys want to check these Guggenbaits out, I'm going to leave them linked down in the description below. They've been crushing it for us on this tour. Oh, dude, Smalley! Just a couple casts later. A little 12 inch Smalley. Look at that. Sweet. We're going to be catching a few different species today, I guess. Hopefully three, at least, so we can get some of them special trout. All right, let's roll. You ready? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> make no promises. What do we want to catch? Yellow fish. Yellow. Goofy, goofy yellow. What'd you call them? Banana fish? Yeah, golden trout. We're dropping the boat in a 20-acre pond. Big boat, too. The John boat would be big in here. So we're going to buy some trout licenses real quick. And then go catch some of these really hey, one more cool looking trout. We are at Mason Lake. It's a small lake about 20 minutes outside of Morgantown. It's a stock trout place. It gets absolutely oh, gets absolutely pounded by trout fishermen because that's how all the places in West Virginia are. So yeah, I'm not real worried about spot burning it. So we're looking for the yellow trout. What are they? Yes. What's their actual? Are they like a? I, like, is it like a rainbow trout? Yeah, it's like a it's weird? a it's a golden rainbow trout. Right. So it uh, that guy got my So it started. I don't know how long ago it was. Very long time ago, uh, and I might get the story wrong, but they um, West Virginia DNR was raising trout in a hatchery, and they had a couple fingerling trout that looked real funny, and I think like the like the head people were like no just like throw those things out but there were a couple students that were like no like let's raise these things and they ended up being they had the the west virginia golden trout and then they just kept breeding them over and over and now you have lots of them so we're fishing for west virginia golden trout yes the oh it is like the pride of west virginia i need to catch one of these things already so, so it's four pound line that we're using okay as our leaders so you got to be kind of easy with them but at the same time, they're in there. <laughs> so right. like when you set the hook, usually they swim up and jump. Okay. And when they do that, just kind of keep them coming. And then once you get them out past the trees, they'll dive back down and then you can actually fight them a little bit. Cool. These are slip bobbers. So slide this little thread piece up yep. like, probably set, the, set it at like 10 feet. All right. That's where I would start, it's pretty deep. All right, here we go. See anybody home? I don't, but like... They're probably still here. Where, no way for us to yeah, we got rain and that's what changed the... Are you snagged or are you... Go ahead and reel up. I want you to get on that tree. Oh, no, I just had something on there, actually. Oh, I see oh, him, yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him. Is he got it? Get ready, just leave it sitting. Just leave it sitting. Drop it quick, get ready. 
Okay, set up, set up. You got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Come here, buddy. Look how cool that thing looks. Ah, it worked. Yes. I'm so concerned. <laughs> I know. Right? <laughs> like, it's like it's a 10 pounder. Five. Probably by your boy. Look at that. Check that out. Have you guys ever seen anything like this? It was like second cast. Nolan knew exactly where they were. All right, let's get another one. Yeah. That first one was quick. That was. I might have to That was second cast. Yeah. That was. I mean, it, like I said, there was like a pile of them here. So. I'm sure they're still here. They're around. Oh, giant! Look at this. Oh <laughs> I like how he comes up, just yeah, like, he like comes up with a force. <laughs> Shut up, stomach. That's a beaver, don't lie. Oh, dude, if I could eat a beaver raw right now. Not me. What you got in there? <sighs> Alright, so we've been kind of switching gears all day. We did a little bit of trolling. We've been fishing the floats for trout. We did a little bit of bass fishing. Been seeing a bunch of muskie swimming around, which is really cool, but they're spawning. They're not eating anything, and we don't really want to get in the way of that. So, actually, they're, I mean, not that they naturally. Yeah, reproducing here. here sterile but we're just doing a little bobber fishing now pulled up to the bank got the bobbers out in the middle and we're just kicking it looking for the bananas it's actually pretty nice a nice way to ease back into the second half of the trip Catch a ramp fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, bass. Oh, a little bass. Yes. Let's see how many I can catch before we have to go. Pull it up. Lunch tomorrow. Yeah. I get back from turkey hunting. Hopefully with some more lunch. We'll see. There you go. I told you my whole life's a catch and cook. Yeah. Well that's where we're gonna end this video off. Thanks for taking James and I out today. Yeah. For the Luckily, West Virginia part of the trip. One of these goofy things. It's been real. It was a lot of fun actually. I'm pretty stoked that I caught this golden trout. It was a little bit of a switch up. It was different. It was different from anything we've done so far. These fish are a big deal to a lot of people, particularly in this state. The West Virginia Golden West Trout. Virginia golden trout. The, the Golden Rainbow Trout. The one I think is how you properly say it. So we're about to crash for the night, and then we're heading to Ohio tomorrow. Yeah, just a few hours, you know. But uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to Ohio, and then Indiana. And these guys are actually heading down to Bull Arkansas. Shoals. Yeah, we they warmed shoals. it up for you. Yeah, we warmed it up for you. <laughs> Everybody wish them luck down in the comments below because they got, what, second, third college yeah, tournament of the year? We're, um, well, we're in, this is going to be our third event of the year, but we're sitting in fourth for team of the year at the moment. Sitting in fourth well, there we go. <laughs> Soon to be <laughs> first. Yeah, keep that going. Hey, if we have a top ten at this one, we'll definitely be, up be at least top three. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to get the lead. I want to. I want a first place there. finish, boys. We, we gotta put a first place trophy over there. I've we seen, got second, I've there, seen second place. A you couple you times. have a first place over there? No. Well, you guys have. You guys have had sec a couple seconds. Yeah, in third. In third. Yeah, it's pretty damn solid. So, yeah. James broke them in for you. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I'm about to break their toilet <laughs> in for them. <laughs> we'll see you in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs>